I'm expecting a shipment today of the new Blue Eddy 350 watt solar panel, but I have this 140 watt ZAMP panel that I bought when I bought my RV, and I have the Blue Eddy EB240. So I thought I'd check to see what I'm getting out of this 140 watt panel and compare it when I get my 350. I don't think you'll be able to see it. It's actually doing pretty good. It's getting 122 volts, 123 volts out of 140. That's a pretty, pretty good comparison. So hopefully my panels are supposed to be delivered this afternoon. It is May 5th. And if I have enough sun left, I'll plug them in to see what I get from them. Okay, it is now just about two o'clock in the afternoon and I just got my Blue Eddy 350 watt solar panel. So I'm gonna unbox it here and see what I got. Let's see. easy oh very nice packaging looks like there's another box and here's what it looks like out of the box before it's completely unwrapped very well packaged And start off how it just flips off the edges. And then take the bubble wrap off and see what we got. Here's the Blue Eddy panel with everything off of it. And there is the only connection, MC4 connectors, 350 watts, cell efficiency 23.4%, voltage at maximum 37.5, current at maximum 9.2, open circuit voltage 46.5, short circuit current 10.8. Okay. Charge my EB240. The EB240 comes with MC4 connectors to an 8 millimeter plug. Here's my 350 watt solar panels I just received from Blue Eddy. I connected the MC4 plugs to the 8 millimeter extension from my EB240. You plug it in. And see what I'm getting. All right, I'm getting 287, 272, 280, 315, 300 and okay. So it's partially cloudy day. But it got up to 320 out of 350, which is excellent. But it looks like it's stabilizing around 270. It's very impressive. That should charge my EB240 without much problem. It will use it as an off-grid cabin.